today we are going to convert customary units of capacity. We have our basic facts that we need to know again up here in the corner. We need to know that one cup equals eight fluid ounces, one pint equals two cups, one quart equals two pints, and that one gallon equals four quarts. Our first problem wants to know if we have three cups, how many fluid ounces will that be? So the basic fact we're going to use up here is this first one that has cups and fluid ounces. And then we know that each cup takes eight and we have three. So we're just going to multiply eight times three, which is 24. So 3 cups equals 24 fluid ounces. For our second example, we now want to figure out how many cups it is if we have 4 pints. So we find our fact that will help us with this, which is 1 pint equals 2 cups. We have 4 of these pints and each one equals two cups. So we're just going to multiply four times two, eight, which is eight. So four pints equals eight cups. Okay, this one, a little trick here, because we have a half thrown in there. So we have two and a half gallons. We want to know how many quarts it is. So our basic fact that will help us is one gallon equals four quarts. We can use pictures for these, sometimes with the halves. I like to use pictures. So I'm going to draw two and a half gallons. So here's two and a half. Each full gallon equals four quarts. So four and four. And how much will half of a gallon equal? If a whole gallon is four, half of four is two. So we have four plus four plus two, which is ten. So two and a half gallons equals ten quarts. Okay, for this last example, we have a table here. So we want to know how to complete this table. If we have one quart, two quarts, three quarts, and four quarts, how many pints that will be. So our basic fact that we need to know is that one quart equals two pints. So for our first one, if we have just one quart, that's easy. One quart equals two pints. And then this table wants us to put those as one and two. So one quart, two pints, in parentheses. Okay, now if we have two quarts, and every quart equals two pints, we have two times two, it's going to equal four, and our ordered pair here will be two, four. If we have three quarts, and each of those equals two pints, three times two equals six, and we have three, six. And last of all for our table, if we have four quarts, and there's two pints in each quart. We get eight pints. Okay. Now that you've seen some examples, I want you to try these next three problems along with me. Then I'll show you the answers to see if you're on the right track. Remember, if you need to, you can pause it. And then when you have your answer, unpause it, and we'll see how you did. So if I have five cups, how many fluid ounces do I have? So the basic fact, we need is this top one, cups and fluid ounces. And we need to multiply eight times five. Eight times five is 40. So five cups equals 40 fluid ounces. 
two more to do along with me. This is one with a half. So three and a half quarts equals how many pints? Pause this one, and then when you're ready, you can check your answer. So we're going to be using the fact of one quart equals two pints. Like I said, I like to draw pictures for these ones with halves, but you do not have to. So I have three and a half quarts here in my picture, and each quart is two pints. And then a half a quart would be half of two, which is one. So this would equal seven pints. So three and a half quarts equals seven pints. Last one to do with me. We have another table. We have one, two, three, and four gallons. We want to know how many quarts each of these will be. So complete this table. Pause it, and then check your answer. Okay, so we're going to use the fact one gallon equals four quarts. And then here's how the rest of the table should look. Okay, now that you've done some with me, and you've been able to check to see that you're doing it right, you're ready to do a couple problems on your own. So here's your first problem to bring to class tomorrow. Seven pints equals how many cups? Number two, one and a half cups equals how many fluid ounces? And since this one has multiple steps, this is going to be your last problem. So we're just going to have three today. So complete this table. Bring these three problems into class tomorrow. And have a wonderful day.